mentioned domestically and abroad, which it sometimes seems to me we cannot answer because we've already ruled out certain things. What I mean is there is a type of problem which we cannot solve because we don't, we know already in advance what the answers cannot be. Now, domestically, and in the case of who are we, um, who are we, I should say, it's like, it's like it comes out like the Chinese technology, <laughs> company, like, who yeah. are we? And, um, I'm afraid the, the answer to the question, who are we, will be who are we. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I want to steal that. I want, um, <laughs> I want the next intifada is the antifada, yes. <laughs> But yes, I, uh, I think that in the uh, domestic realm, it's quite straightforward that um, you have to, in Amer America, Western Europe, you have to say, who are we? You have to say, we are a multicultural society, which uh, owes our... Uh, existence to a huge range of sources. That's what you have to say. Now, it's not. It's not. It's not entirely true. In fact, it's a bit of a lie. Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit of a lie in some circumstances. But uh, that's the only sort of acceptable one. The talks about the force of the mob, the demonic possession of the mob, the ideological possession, if you want, is Rene Girard, and he describes yes. the moment when Jesus was uh, was rejected by the mob and Barabbas. Was selected. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the mob should not be trusted. And in the in the fifties and in the sixties, all the Polish, Czech, Romanian intellectuals were put on trial and um, and sent to prison by the mob. Uh, they were they were treated very unfairly. So perhaps history should teach us. That you know, uh, no human life should be sentenced to death uh, only because the crowds say so. We yes, well, to... well, we have the most powerful example of that in the, in the Christian uh, religious tradition. Uh, I first encountered Girard uh, thanks to Roger uh, Scruton, who was a great admirer of his and uh, was persuaded, as he was, of the. Uh, of the truthfulness of particularly what Girard writes about in violence and the sacred. Uh, I think it's an enormously important thing and the mimetic idea yeah, is, is, is in particular and I, I wish it were better known because once you encounter it you understand an awful lot of what's going on around us today. And of course that's, I mean, that's the other thing about reading these great writers is that it means that when you, when you contend with them uh, you return to the world better able to understand what in it you can impact and do something about and what you cannot. Well, Douglas, I'm very grateful for this conversation, an hour-long conversation. And I do hope that, you know, 10 years from now, we will see a, a stronger network of uh, conservative intellectuals in this, making this transatlantic alliance more powerful. Because in a yes. way, it was this alliance between John Paul II and uh, Ronald Reagan that, that brought to, to an end communism. And perhaps right. it's the task of our generation to expose the lies of communist China, the errors of political Islam, the faults of uh, political correctness, and rebuild the West uh, with renewed forces. If I can say so, I completely, I completely agree. And I would just say that it's for some time been my view that uh, the Eastern European countries in particular have a very, very important role to play there because people of our age, and we're not that old, um, uh, people who are, and, and some who are like younger than us, have the story that Americans and Western Europeans have forgotten. And for a young person in the West, to know that their contemporaries experience the system they are trying to re-enact seems to me to be the most profound challenge to them that we could have. And that's why I just urge all of our friends in your part of our continent of the importance of, of speaking and, 
and knowing that you have to get your voices out as widely as possible because it is especially crucial uh, in this generation. We say, and I ask you to say with us, lift up your voices in this great meeting in the heart of England. Send to all the world a message. England lives and marches on.